Many of you have a digital camera, a pocket PC, a mobile phone or a laptop with a data card slot. The purpose of the data card slot is to expand the memory of that particular device. Now most of the devices these days use what they call an SD data card or secure dig digital data card to expand the memory capabilities of that device. For example, digital camera, if you want to increase the number of photographs you want to take, you use the SD card. Uh, with a mobile phone, you would use the micro SD card uh, to either add additional music or ringtones or photographs or even video clips. Now there are three different technologies currently in the SD range. The, the, the first one that came out was called the SD or Secure Digital Data Card. The next one that came out is called the Mini SD Data Card and as you can see it's about half the size of the original and then they've got the what they call the micro SD data card also known as the trans flash in terms of uh, technology they're identical it's just another name brand that's all now why are there three different um, um, formats of the SD data card well when uh, before the SD data card came out there was also one called compact flash and compact flash would be probably three times the size of that particular data card. And as time passed, a lot of manufacturers realized they could um, pack the same amount of um, memory into a data card in a smaller uh, format. And so uh, the SD card was um, created. Uh, during this, uh, the past four odd years of the SD, SD data card's lifetime, of course they've introduced the mini and they've introduced the micro. Now the micro SD transflash is um, practically usable in any device that has got an SD slot. How this is done? Well this particular little data card is not an actual data card, it is an adapter. If you notice in the top here there's a little slot and that slot will allow me to insert a micro SD um, data card and instantly turn it into a standard SD data card which will fit into your camera, into your um, uh, to laptop or whatever device that has an SD data card in a pocket PC, um, street navigator etc. When it comes to the mini, not many devices have got the mini SD slot and not only that, as far as I'm aware at least anyway, there is no adapter to convert from the mini to the micro. So what is the benefit of buying a standard SD data card? Well, these days none at all. It is a better option to turn around and buy the micro SD with the adapter, use it in your um, pocket PC or laptop or camera, and then if you so desire want to use that same micro SD data card in your mobile phone, you just pull it out of its adapter, put it into, micro, uh, into your mobile phone, and away you go. Now, sizes wise, meaning memory capacity, the one I've got here is uh, for starters the 128. I think from memory they came out starting at around about the 32 megabytes. Now, 128, this is a, an old um, data card, but um, companies like uh, SanDisk they um, produce uh, the micro SD data card, minimum capacity of 1 gigabyte. Um, and up to 2 gigabyte, they are moving up to the 4 and the 8. In the standard SD data card size, which is still available, they do have it in 4 gig and 8 gig. Now, there's one little issue to be aware of. S um, many devices that use the SD data cards have got um, a capacity limitation, meaning that, for example, a pocket PC may be limited to one gigabyte data card. If you put a two gig in, it just won't recognize it. It's something you've got to look out for when you buy your um, digital device, camera, etc. One way of getting around it, but not for all digital devices, but at least a device that has a USB port, for example, your laptop or your PC, is this device from SanDisk. It has a USB data port on it and inside here is a 4 gig SD data card. Now that will work fine in any USB configuration if you've got an 8 gig data, uh, SD data card slot it into this adapter and away it goes. How it works I do not know but all I know is that it will read the 4 gigabytes. 
However, as I said, in the case of uh, using a standard SD data card, um, um, the current devices may uh, not accept anything more than one gig or two gig. A lot of street navigators or, uh, for example, Garmin and Magellan uh, GPSs do accept up to two gigabytes. Some people do say four gig, but as yet I haven't been able to do that myself and uh, I actually haven't seen anyone do it personally. But uh, certainly it uh, is uh, questionable whether you really need four gigabytes, two gigabytes should be fine for downloading music or photographs or in the case of GPSs, your maps. That is practically it in the terms of the um, SD technology and I uh, hope that helped you in, in any of your issues with buying an SD data card.